So welcome back to Gun and Shot TV. This is Chris, and today I have something a little bit special, something you don't see every day. Uh, I was on YouTube, and I saw a video that uh, was linked to Smith & Wesson Forum, and there was a guy that uh, is kind of in my backyard here in Illinois, which in the internet terms is pretty far away, but, you know. Uh, so he agreed to come out so we could get a better look at this gun. He has a really cool video that I'll link in the description with all the history and way better background that I can do, but real brief, this is a Smith & Wesson Model 39. Now, it's a little bit different than most Model 39s because this is essentially like a CIA, Navy SEAL, kind of an experimental gun that was only used during the Vietnam War uh, by the SEAL team. So it was replaced by an HK, but uh, during Vietnam they wanted a gun that would uh, be silent uh, and would be able to be waterproofed. So they took a Model 39, uh, set it up with a suppressor and uh, a waterproof suppressor and a special plug system that would waterproof the barrel and then uh, a toggle to lock the slide so you could manually actuate this toggle. So it's the same slide release mechanism but it's got an extension and then it's got two sides that lock the slide. So you could shoot suppressed ammo and by locking the slide the gun wouldn't make any recoil noise. Uh, by using heavier subsonic ammo there was no supersonic crack from the bullet going out and the suppressor would take care of the combustion. So it was a silent but deadly weapon. Um, Really, uh, you probably wouldn't see much. Um, I don't know. I know the Metal Gear Solid 3 video game. Uh, they had one of these, and it's, I think they called it a hush puppy. In the game, it actually fired tranquilizer bullets or something that, that's total fiction. But the gun itself is real. So this is a mock-up, uh, reproduction, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we're in Illinois. The suppressor is not real. But uh, the gun itself is an accurate reproduction that the gentleman uh, had made up by the guys down at Maxon. And uh, we're going to shoot it a little bit. Uh, unfortunately, I was trying to work with a local NFA dealer and get a suppressor so we could actually fire with a real suppressor. But uh, it's about an hour past the time the suppressor guy was going to show up. So I think we got skunked, which is a bummer. But he's got this fake suppressor uh, that is not a real suppressor. It's just there uh, to show the balance and weight and everything. And one other neat thing he had made up, so this is the actual holster, a reproduction of the holster uh, that the gun would have been carried in for seals or stuff like that. So really interesting piece, something you're not going to see on the surplus market really. So we've got this all set up. Like I said, we, we can't unfortunately uh, use a real suppressor today because the suppressor guy didn't show up. But uh, we'll take it, we'll shoot some rounds on range. I'll show you a little bit closer how the action lock and everything works. And... Uh, like I said, if you want more information about the gun, uh, the guy who actually had it made up, he's got a channel. He's got a way better video with a lot more, you know, period pictures and a lot more history on it. So this is just kind of a brief uh, chance to shoot something really rare, a white whale, if you will, at the range here. So much closer with the gun here, you can see that here is the lock mechanism. Like I said, it is part of the regular slide release. So when you want to load around, you unlock it, and then you would push the lock and now it is locked. Um, pretty self-explanatory. So we've got two rounds of 158 grain Fiocchi. You're gonna rack the slide and then you push the lock mechanism. The slide is now locked. Well, that, that is very well balanced and neat gun to shoot. So then to chamber the next round, you're gonna flip the slide lock off, eject the round, and, and lock it again. Now the thing with this is, because of the weight at the end of the barrel and it's a browning mechanism, it will not function with the slide lock off. It'll probably have feed issues and hang up. So it's, it's kind of a, you have to use it. Uh, theoretically, maybe without the suppressor, it might run as a regular gun, but with the weight of the suppressor, it will not work. So it's something you have to actually use every time. Yeah, how you doing? Uh, my name is David. Uh, Chris encouraged me to come on and uh, get in front of the camera for a second. Uh, I want to discuss a little bit more about the faux suppressor in this case. With the real suppressor, it was called the Mark III Mod Zero. 
by the Navy. When this was attached to the pistol, then the whole pistol was called the Mark 23 Mod Zero. If you go to my documentary about the Hush Puppy pistol on YouTube, uh, you'll be able to hear all the intricate details you wanted to be able to hear about. But basically, with the originals, that you'd be able to unscrew the back end here, which uh, had the threading on it. You'd also be able to unscrew the front end. Uh, now, if you take a look at the front end right here, it's actually a recess, if you can see my finger going in it a little bit uh, right here, uh, that there was a disc. It had an annular ring on the outside of it. It was an inch and a quarter across by three-eighths of an inch th uh, thick deep, and that was polyurethane. On the inside of the originals, you'd have a spring right here that helped compress, and it had a little kind of a mechanism to hold the absolute cartridge. Now, the cartridge was a wipe cartridge, which was basically polyurethane discs that were pre-scored, think of a circle with an X in it, uh, and then you, you held them apart. You had four pieces that were held in the, uh, the uh, um, excuse me, the cartridge was only about this big, and so you were able to get a significant amount of suppression out of something that was only about five inches long. Now you have to just remember your basic uh, physics theories about dealing with suppressors that a suppressor should be as long or slightly longer than the pistol that it is being fired from. You can probably get around that with most rifles because uh, doing things uh, to have to have a suppressor that's 20 inches long and a 20 inch long barrel and an M16 would be pretty ridiculous. But you should take a look online and find out about the HEL E4A and a couple other psionic suppressors and other things that were used uh, back during Vietnam as well as the current ones uh, that are being used right on now. So I'm going to turn it back on over to Chris and Chris is going to uh, do a little bit more shooting. Going to the right. Well, there we go. So I hope you enjoyed this look at the Smith & Wesson Mark 22 Mod Zero Hush Puppy. Uh, if you want to see more about the gun, like I said, the guy who had it made up and was nice enough to bring it over to the range today, he's got a video I'll link in the description, so make sure you check that out. If you liked the video, quick thumbs up. If you didn't, uh, quick thumbs down. That's up to you. If you've got comments, make sure you leave comments down in there and I'll try and get back to you. Or if it's something you wanted to find out from the guy who actually owns the gun, check out the link to his video. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, click subscribe, and thanks for watching. Have a great day.